Why are you still bleaching your skin with chemical infused products? Are you not scared of cancer? I mean with a high rate of cancer now you're still using chemical on your skin. When the least rice can get the job done, ordinary rice can get the job done. You don't have to bleach your skin with chemical. There are so many side effects that comes with using chemical on your skin. It can cause cancer, it can cause redness, um, dark knuckles, ringworm, all sorts of irritations that comes with using those chemicals on your skin. And there are still good natural products that can actually give you that radiant skin tone that you desire without you having to break bank. But now you define quick action. You're actually the one looking for an overnight miracle product. Simple homemade whitening body scrub like this can help to lighten your skin without you having to break bank. And it's very safe and super effective for skin lightening. Now without wasting much of your time, let me go ahead and show you how to do this. to my channel i hope you're doing okay so in this video today i'll be showing you how you can make a whitening body scrub with um rice and um green tea bag like it is super easy and very effective for skin um toning or skin whitening if you have been looking for a way to whiten your skin or to tone your skin like a two shade lighter complexion then this amazing body scrub is all you need like you just need rice and a few ingredients to make this amazing body scrub. Now, if it's your first time here, my name is Gift and I'm super excited to welcome you to the Giftings family. Please do well to subscribe to my channel and also turn on your notification bell so that you'll be the first to watch my next video. And at the end of this video, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and also leave your comments down below. So to make this whitening body scrub, the first ingredient you need is a um, green tea bag. But just in case you don't have a green tea bag, you can substitute with um, Lipton or Lipton. I don't know the correct um, pronunciation, but I think it's um, Lipton. So you're going to be needing one tea bag, one green tea bag. And um, when you get your green tea bag, just go ahead and um, add um, hot water into it. This is just like you make your um, tea. Now we're using this green tea because um, it contributes to skin whitening due to the presence of antioxidants which um, benefits the skin complexion and also it helps in removing toxins from the body which makes skin whiter and it also reduces um, dullness, it helps with premature aging, it helps to remove wrinkles, it helps to remove um, green veins, it helps to clear um, acne, it has good lots of benefits and it also helps to give you a more youthful glowing looking skin and that makes it perfect for this now to make this um, green tea this is just like you make your normal green tea when you want to take your green tea all you have to do is to add hot water and allow the green tea to infuse into the water and this might take like um, five or three minutes so it's just like that and after that you can allow it to cool completely and then you can move on to the next um, process or the next step. So for the next step, you'll be needing a very clean bowl. So get your clean bowl and then you can start adding your following ingredients. Now, this is the same rice I showed you earlier. Just make your rice powder using your rice by grinding the rice into a powder form. You can sieve it to make it very smooth and then you can get your rice powder. So that's it. And after that, you will also be needing orange peel and now how to make your orange peel as well peel your orange and wash the peel and then leave it on the sun or in a ventilated area to dry very well and then you can go on and grind it into a powder form that is how you can get your orange peel and you also be needing um, brown sugar as well but you can also use um, white sugar but i like making this with the brown sugar and you will also be needing baking soda which is very very important for this now let me tell you a little benefits of these four ingredients are added in the bowl um starting with the rice powder rice powder is a natural skin brightener it helps to even out skin tone and reduce the appearance of dark spots and um, blemishes because um it contains a high concentration of um, vitamin c which have um, a brightening effect on the skin and that makes it perfect for skin lightening and also it contains exfoliating effects. It can help to 
um, remove the skin cells and unclog your pores to give you a smoother texture that is to make your skin smooth and um, it also contains anti-inflammatory properties that helps to suit skin irritation and reduce redness and that makes it very perfect for skin lightening now before i continue with the other ingredients let me just tell you what next to do um, now after mixing the four ingredients in the bowl after combining it well just go on and add the green tea now for the green tea add it bit by bit until you're okay with the consistency now moving on to the second ingredient in the bowl uh, which is the orange peel powder orange peel powder is a very good um, ingredient for skin lightening as well because um, it's very rich in antioxidants and it helps to treat skin inflammation and hydrate dry and um, dull skin as well it helps in um, removing flaky and itchy skin by locking in the necessary moisture and um, it helps to fight toxic free radicals and prevent oxidative stress on the skin so which makes it perfect for this so add your orange peel powder and then for the third ingredient which is the brown sugar i explained it in my other video um, it contains a exfoliating effect as well which will help to slough off dead skin cells from your skin and gives you um, a radiant um, complexion and for the fourth ingredient which is um baking soda Baking soda is a brilliant um, bleaching agent and it's also an excellent um, exfoliator. It contains antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties and this can help to reduce the recurrence of pimples, acne and uh, melani production. So it can help to tone your skin effectively without any side effect. And for the next ingredient you need um, jojoba oil. You can use sweet almond oil, you can use coconut oil, you can use shea butter, you can use any of the oil or butter. You guys complained in my last video that I added um, too much oil to this. I didn't actually add too much oil, but you need oil in your body scrub because this is you exfoliating your skin. And once your skin is exfoliated, your skin pores will be open. And that can easily cause breakout so you need all those oils and butters to lock in moisture in your skin so that is it so you need to lock in moisture to your skin that's why i'm adding these oils to this but i try to reduce the oil in this particular video so for the next ingredient you'll be adding pure honey so please do make sure to add pure honey to this if you have been following me on this channel you will know that i don't joke with um cinnamon powder when it comes to body scrub so i always love to add um, cinnamon powder to my body scrub like it contains lots of benefits and i love the fragrance in my body scrub not just about the fragrance it helps my body scrub a lot because of its um benefits so that's why i love adding cinnamon powder to my body scrub but it's totally optional if you don't have cinnamon powder you can also do without it and for the next ingredient you'll be needing lemon juice so for the lemon cut it into two you're going to use the smaller part of the lemon but i would advise um to be very safe um you can add just one teaspoon of lemon juice to this yeah just add one teaspoon of lemon juice and add the lemon go on and mix it very well and you all know that lemon contains bleaching agents that helps to tone your skin like it contains vitamin c and other properties it contains other antibacterial properties as well it contains anti-inflammatory properties it also contains bleaching agent that can help to bleach or tone your skin but please do not add too much of it do not add too much of it and you'll also be needing vitamin e which i love adding to my body products because it helps my skin a lot so you can either add um vitamin e capsule or you add vitamin e oil but it's very important to use vitamin e because it helps your skin a lot um i always say this always make sure to make your research to know the benefits and the purpose of all these ingredients now go on and add your shower gel you can add any good shower gel of a choice 
which is the same as a liquid soap so you can use any liquid soap of your choice you can use a face wash as well so just add any liquid soap that can help this body scrub to lather because when it lathers it moves freely on your skin and that way it can easily um, slough off their skin cells on your skin so now after that just go on and give it a, a good mix now i told you guys earlier that we're going to be using um four tablespoons of um, rice powder and if you noticed from the beginning i added just three tablespoons so um this is where you watch the consistency it was um, actually too light for you you can add extra one tablespoon of rice powder to thicken it a little bit more but if you're okay with the consistency just go in and use it like that so I added one more tablespoon of um, rice powder to thicken it a little bit more and just like I said earlier if you don't want to get a two shade lighter complexion please do not use this body scrub and if you insist on using this body scrub maybe because you want to lighten your skin please if you don't want to overtone your skin use it just um, once in two weeks or once or twice in a month so please do not overuse this body scrub because it will massively tone your skin if you use it more than once in a week but if you want to lighten your skin to get a two shade lighter complexion use this body scrub three times in a week and please do not use it on your face do not use it on your face i always tell you guys your face is very delicate so please avoid um, using anything that can irritate your face. So please, this body scrub is just for your body. It's just body scrub. Do not use it on your face. And if you want to use it on your face, do not add the baking powder, the baking soda. But the baking soda is one of the um, essential ingredients in this body scrub. So this is just your body scrub. Now if you have dark knuckles, dark heels, dark elbows, once you're scrubbing, please concentrate on those areas where you have those dark knuckles, dark elbows, and dark heels. Concentrate on those areas. And this will help to clear those dark areas on your skin. And um, for those dark areas, let me say, if you're using this body scrub all over your body, um, like three times in a week, you're going to use it on those discolored areas, which is your elbows, your knees, your knuckles, and those dark discolored areas just use it like five times or six times in a week that will help to lighten up those um, dark areas to give you a unified complexion now after scrubbing you're going to leave it on your body for like five minutes and then you can go on and wash it now that's this is how you can wash it off just pour a little body a little water on your skin and then you can go on and massage your skin very well to slough off those dead skin cells and then after that you can rinse off with um lukewarm water just rinse it off with lukewarm water now after that you can see how smooth and shiny and glowing your skin will be like this body scrub is very nice i'm going to use it this night so please don't don't worry about it now this is what i tell you guys after exfoliating you need to moisturize your skin and i just made this body oil i'm going to be showing you in my next video how to make this body oil and this is very good after exfoliating your skin you can just use this body oil to lock in moisture into your skin and another wonderful thing about this body oil is that it can also lighten your skin like i use the best oils that can help to lighten your complexion to give you a unified complexion without any discolations or side effects and the combination of this body scrub and body oil can give you a clearer skin tone a unified skin tone without any discolation like it is a bomb and it's very perfect for those that want to get a two shades lighter complexion now please make sure to add a um, preservative to your body scrub it is very important um i didn't actually add preservative to this because i'm going to use it this night and i might finish it and if it's still remaining i'm sure that my sister might want to use it so please um when you're making your own do well to add preservative that's if you're keeping it for a long period of time for like a week 
make sure you add preservative or you can store it in your refrigerator if you add a good preservative to this you can store it at room temperature for like two weeks but if you don't add um, preservative you can store it in your refrigerator for a maximum of five days or at most seven days which is one week so please do well to add your preservative and when scrubbing your skin please always remember to scrub clockwise which is in a circular motion it is very important so friend that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please do well to give this video a thumbs up and also leave your comments down below if you're just joining me for the first time my name is gift and i'm super excited to welcome you to the gift things family please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to watch my next video and don't also forget to share this video to your friends so friend see you on my next video but before then stay blessed and keep loving one another bye